becoming familiar with direct admin for resellers. This demo assumes you've already logged into direct admin as a reseller. Now let's familiarize ourselves with direct admin for resellers. Across the top of the main reseller's direct admin screen, there are icons available for easy access to the most popular tools. The webmail icon will take you directly to your webmail application. The password icon is a quick link to where you can change or reset your reseller account password. The help icon will take you to complete documentation on using direct admin as a reseller. The files icon takes you directly to file manager. And the logout icon is what you click when you are finished with direct admin. You should always log out when you are finished. Scroll down. Click the System Information link. Here we can see detailed information about the server. And if we scroll down, we can see if all the servers in the server, XM, MySQL, Apache, etc. are running properly. Scroll back to the top of the page. Click the Home icon here. There are several tools available to you in your Reseller Direct Admin main page, and these tools are divided into account management tools, like adding users and adding packages. Reseller tools like changing passwords, IP management, and managing backups. And extra features like viewing system information and messaging users. Scroll back to the top of the page. Let's go take a look at the available help documentation for resellers. Click the Help icon. This is the main help page and it has dozens of helpful links for learning how to use Direct Admin as a reseller. Click the Create Accounts link. This page explains how to create an account with Direct Admin. This help page is a terrific source of information on using Direct Admin as a reseller. This is the end of the tutorial. You should now be more familiar with navigating around in Direct Admin for resellers. To learn more about how to use the various features of Direct Admin, you can return to the help link on this main page. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions.